Populations and Resources Unit, Lesson 2.2, Energy Storage Molecules, Activity 4, Returning to the Yeast Experiment. Let's observe the results of the yeast experiment. Which cup of yeast showed evidence of releasing the most energy? Explain your answer. Cup C must have released more energy because it produced more bubbles. Which cup of yeast most likely reproduced the most? Explain your answer. Cup C was able to release more energy since it had more energy storage molecules so it can reproduce more. This is not because the yeast actually grew, but because they are producing bubbles. The bubbles are carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide comes from a process that most organisms use to release energy called cellular respiration. During cellular respiration, energy storage molecules like glucose combine with oxygen, producing water and carbon dioxide. This process releases energy that organisms use for survival and reproduction. Because we saw bubbles, we know that the yeast are releasing energy from sugar, an energy storage molecule, but we don't yet have any direct evidence that they are reproducing. Since we cannot see the yeast with our naked eye, we cannot get direct evidence that they are reproducing. However, we can look at microscope images of yeast. This image is show how yeast reproduce. These are yeast cells. Yeast cells produce buds. The bud gets bigger and bigger until it breaks away and becomes an individual cell. Scientists have observed that when yeast gets more energy storage molecules, they can make more buds. This means that they can reproduce more. Key concept. The more energy storage molecules available to a population, the more the organisms in that population can reproduce. The yeast gained energy from sugar, and the microscopic images show that they were able to reproduce more. End of activity.